to demonstrate the alembic data migration tool uh so just like uh, git alum uh, which is used for version control in uh, code alembic is used as version control for data schema migrations uh so to start with i created an in uh, postgres sql instance on uh, cloud sql uh, and I whitelisted my IP address by adding my IP address to the connection so that I'm able to connect to the uh, Cloud SQL using my local machine. So I've created a few databases here uh, in this data in this demo I will be using the FMD database uh, As you can see I've created uh, these databases uh, Sorry these tables in this database earlier uh, We'll, we'll, we'll get back to them. Uh, so coming to Alembic, uh, I'm using Flask Migrate. Instead of Alembic, Flask Migrate is an extension to Alembic, which actually handles some, uh, makes some of the configuration uh, for Alembic easier. Uh, I'm using it in conjunction with SQL Alchemy. Uh, so to, to connect to the database first i have to create a url uh i have to give some parameters like my username password and my public ip in the name of the database which is fmd that i showed before uh, usually i'd configure this url the database connection in the alambic ini file and um, but here flask migrate handles it with handles it for us uh in this and in, in, there's another file called environment.py which is also configured by flask migrate here for us but usually we give the information of the of our base class in the environment py file here uh, our base class is db dot model so uh in sql alchemy especially for alembic we have to always uh, extend the classes that we are creating to to our base class uh so for, so first i created an instance of the database here as db and when i do migrate uh this is a function of flask migrate which will configure alembic for us when i run migrate so so now db.model has our base class so when i extend any class that i'm creating to the d with to the db dot model class it will track all the schema schemas uh, that we are creating in this in this file so in sql alchemy every table is created in the form of a class and so you can see this is a user class which is actually a user table user table so sql alchemy is an orm which allows us to communicate with the database uh, in the form of um, objects and classes which actually helps us to connect to any database so basically the same code can be used for a mysql database just by create uh, changing the url here without making any changes to the code so like i said in in uh, sql alchemy each class is treated is is i mean tables are created in the form of a class so I'm, i've created a few flu tables or classes here and each row is a column here so i'm creating an id row which is an integer and a primary key i i pass a few arguments here uh to the uh column so yeah so i created a few classes so every time i create uh so okay let me demonstrate so there is a, a file called versions so when we initially when we want when we want to run flask migrate we run a command called uh flask db in it and it will create a file called migrations which will have all our uh migrations or versions uh versions that we create so in an alembic each every version or any change to the schema is called a migration so this was my initial my uh this was one of my migrations okay let me uh demonstrate one migration uh so let me add a just a 
a random class just for demonstrating uh, uh, I'll call this call this whole now uh let's i'll see i save this now let's uh, create a migration for this so now if you when when i want to create a migration i'll run the command flask db migrate and i create I'll, I'll give a message called home model and do enter and now when i run this command uh i can see that uh taking time okay yeah so a whole model has been created so this is a version this is basically called a migration so in this in this file there are two classes upgrade and downgrade so these are the classes that alambic calls when we want to upgrade or downgrade from a specific version uh in when uh, from a specific version so the upgrade class basically uh has what we just created so it, it is creating the table home. It, it has the commands to create the table home with the specific columns that we configured and, and the downgrade class is the exact opposite to the upgrade class it has uh it is basically doing the opposite by create by done uh dropping the table home so like i said every time we run a uh we want to upgrade or downgrade from a specific uh version uh alembic runs these commands so from this version if i want to downgrade alembic uh, alembic will run this class or uh, if but if i want to upgrade it will uh, run this class uh, okay so now now i create created a migration but uh, but my database is still not updated with uh, yeah, my database is still not updated with the home table. So to uh, uh to do that, I'll do I'll have to do flash db upgrade. Uh, when I do flash db upgrade, it will upgrade the da uh, database to the head. And now when I run the same command, you can see that the home table has been created. So the schema changes may need not necessarily be limited limited to the tables. We can also change make changes to the columns uh, in the table. So let's say we have a user table and so this user table. So this user table uh, has first name and last name. So let's say I want to add um middle name to this user i already have this command ready so i'll just remove the comment now i added middle name to the user now i'll create the migration class db migrate Now I should see that a migration will be created. Uh, yeah. So it's so in this migration part, we can see that uh, corresponding commands have been created for the classes. So now when I do flask I should be able to see the, that the user class will have the middle name now. So it does have a middle name now. Uh, so now if I want to do, uh, to see the history, I'll do flash db history. And I can see all the migrations that I've performed. So now I want to, uh, let's say I want to downgrade to a specific uh, state in the, of the schema. So let's say I want to downgrade to 
okay first uh, uh let's let's do this flask flask db downgrade will actually downgrade to downgrade it one step so but now if i want to downgrade to a specific uh schema i'll just copy the name of the version from here and let's say this now uh when i do dt you can see that a home has been gone the home model that we created was gone and the user model is also to the a previous state um yeah so so like that we will uh we can do upgrade and downgrade uh to the schemas and uh revise our schemas so let's say uh okay let's say class db upgrade and even for upgrade i can give a specific uh, version name here to upgrade to that uh version so now I, what i'll i'll just up upgrade it to the head and i do and I don't say anything it will just upgrade it to the head and dt i have all the tables here now so let's say this was our test environment and now we have come up now we are fixed with our schema and now we want to uh, deploy this i mean uh, migrate this schema to our uh, to a different environment maybe dev uh, so let's say let's create a database called dev env uh, so now a database called dev env is created now uh, how I would migrate so now what I would do is I'll connect to dev env Um, so I mean, I mean in the meantime it connects I think it is having some issue uh, let me reconnect yeah in the meantime it connects I'll explain you so now we want to migrate all the schemas that we created to the dev environment so what we will just uh, we, we would just have to do is uh, we'll just have to edit our uh, URL our migration URL to the uh, to the dev environment uh, database so now it is configured to FMD and what I'll just do is I'll just say uh, DEV ENV that's what I named it. Yeah, it's connected. So D V and V. So I'll connect to the dev environment database. Yeah, so you can see that there are no tables here now. But now when I uh, I'll save this, since I connected a Flask, uh, Flask migrate to the Devi and V database, when I run the migrations, Flask, D, when I run Flask DB upgrade, it will uh, perform all the migrations that we did to our previous uh, database to the dev environment database so now let when i do this you can see all the tables have been transferred to this database and 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 now we can do the same version control for this database and so on uh yeah that is the that is my alembic demonstration thank you